Of all the many gaming genres, one of the oldest and most enduring is the JRPG. The ultimate time sucker and one of the first genres to make meaningful contributions to storytelling in the medium, the JRPG is as integral as the platformer when it comes to the building blocks of our favourite means of entertainment. Being such a stalwart part of gaming, we've decided to make this list of the best JRPGs of all time. While dozens and dozens of games could be considered for a list like this, we ultimately broke it down to a top 10. In doing so, we had to leave many of our favourites on the cutting room floor, but we finally came up with this list of incredibly memorable and well-crafted JRPGs that are sure to take you thousands of hours to track down and beat. Bear in mind that this was a very difficult task, so if you aren't happy with the choices, please refrain from kicking your head about like a game of Blitzball. So without further ado, here are our 10 best JRPGs ever made. Sorry in advance that Final Fantasy XIII did not make the cut. 10. Final Fantasy X For years, Final Fantasy was the biggest name in JRPGs globally, but Final Fantasy X took that popularity to all new heights. After the previous entry offered a traditional series farewell, X took things in bold new directions. Allowing the players to switch party members mid-fight opened up the gauntlet for how turn-based battles could evolve in Final Fantasy X. Meanwhile, the excising of a traditional overworld between towns and dungeons made for the most immersive game in the Final Fantasy series to date. Finally, the Sphere Grid upgrade system allowed the player to decide how their characters would evolve from their base roles as Warrior, Black Mage or Thief. Changing the game immeasurably while giving you more control than ever, Final Fantasy X is fondly remembered as one of the PlayStation 2's best JRPGs. By the way, that laughing scene, charming and delightful, get over yourself. Number 9. Chrono Cross While this sequel to the legendary SNES JRPG may not have been what many fans were expecting, Chrono Cross twisted the time-bending nature of its predecessor into daring new directions. Concerning a young man who must travel between two alternating realities, one in which he lived and the other where he died, Chrono Cross's dimensional hopping adventure asked hard questions about what happens when you intervene regarding destiny and how many realities can exist as a result. An imaginative adventure that allowed players to recruit over 40 playable characters across several playthroughs, Chrono Cross offered a world of never-ending possibilities and a unique battle system that changed how players saw progress and character evolution. We're going to be <laughs> cross if you don't appreciate this one. 8. Pokemon Gold and Silver After the original Pokemon games blew up worldwide, the sequels had some enormous shoes to fill. Fortunately, Pokemon Gold and Silver met this challenge with prowess and ambition. An additional 100 Pokemon were added to the world, bringing the number up to 251, while the look of the Johto region was more vivid, being that Gold and Silver were developed for the Game Boy Color from the ground up. A real-time clock was also introduced, allowing the game's world to reflect the day and time of the player's reality immersively. This meant that players had to come back to the game at different times in order to capture Nocturnal or Early Riser monsters that were only active during certain times of the day. With more specialised Pokeballs, new gear to utilise throughout the adventures such as maps and radios, and special shiny type Pokemon that only appeared rarely, Pokemon Gold and Silver took the addictive itch of the first game and turned it into a full-on sensation. Plus, you could make your Pokemon do it by leaving them with a strange man and then seeing what new Pokemon pops out. Video Games 7. Super Mario RPG as the popularity of the Mario character blew up for Nintendo in the 90s, the Japanese giant started featuring their charming plumber in a variety of new genres outside of his platforming roots. One of the best of these was in role-playing games with the impressive Super Mario RPG. Helped by JRPG giant Square, Nintendo took their stable of recognisable characters in bold new directions that were as hilariously fun as they were new and exciting. Where else could you see Mario, Peach and Bowser battling monsters together as they were regularly faced with more nuanced aspects of life in the Mushroom Kingdom? The first and best of many Mario RPGs that have followed since, Super Mario RPG shook up the entire genre with its timed button tapping special moves and simple mechanics that opened the doors of one of gaming's most intimidating genres to just about anyone. Just try not to stare at Bowser's face for too long in this one. 
That's the face of a guy who's been bested by an Italian plumber who is sometimes also a raccoon for the last three decades. 6. Persona 5 after Persona 4 launched the franchise into the stratosphere, Persona 5 took that momentum and brought it up to another level. Stylized to the max and offering a level of visual fidelity that fans couldn't have dreamed of beforehand, Persona 5 became a mega hit that sold better than any other game in the franchise. Players take on the role of Joker and his phantom thieves of hearts. Together they journey into the metaverse where they attempt to change the world by altering the hearts and minds of corrupt real-life figures like cold-hearted CEOs, plagiarizing artists and criminals of the underworld. The royal version that followed included an entire third semester for its high school adventure and new characters, music, battles and scenarios that enriched the games further. Certainly one of the best games on the PS4, Persona 5 will knock the socks off even the most cynical JRPG fans. Who knows where Persona goes from here, but it's a bloody good bet that you'll wind up losing another 100 hours of your life. 5. Final Fantasy VII The game that finally made RPGs cool to play, Final Fantasy VII's cyberpunk aesthetic and hit per character design by Tetsuya Nomura took the Final Fantasy series from a success into an unbridled phenomenon. Boasting an ambitious look that melded three distinct artistic styles into a cohesive whole and somehow peppered in dozens of mini-games without losing its way, Final Fantasy VII featured iconic visuals that set it apart from anything else in the genre. Further, it offered a material system that allowed character customization never before seen in any JRPG, let alone in the Final Fantasy series. An insane rogues gallery of villains and an adventure more extensive than any previously seen in the franchise only sweetened the deal even more, making Final Fantasy VII a staple in any JRPG collection. Remake's alright too, I guess. 4. Kingdom Hearts 2 The Disney Square Enix experiment that famously began with a chance elevator meeting eventually led to the best game in the Kingdom Hearts franchise with Kingdom Hearts 2. Capitalizing on the features that made the world-melding original and its spin-off so fun and addictive while trimming down the platforming and collectible fluff that held it back, Kingdom Hearts 2 became the best game in the series. Sora could use new forms and visit new worlds as the design and visuals were enhanced between separate worlds, leading to a more fluid overall product. Problems with the gummership sequences were also addressed, eliminating the issues with the most divisive element of the first game. Lastly, real ramifications from the first two games echoed throughout Kingdom Hearts 2, and its time jump allowed for real, meaningful growth in its characters and one of the most heartwarming finales in the history of JRPGs. 3. Xenoblade Chronicles Xenoblade Chronicles feels like it was developed in concert with a focus group airing their most significant problems with JRPGs throughout. A vast game that offers over a hundred hours of gameplay, the appeal of Xenoblade is only increased by design elements that streamline nearly every RPG headache along the way. Time-based quests? That's alright, you can change the time of day. Quests give a hundreds of miles from where you completed the mission. No worries, killing the monster or completing the task alone will wrap things up. Wishing you could go back and check out something from a previous location? Don't worry, fast travel is available from the jump. Even quests you're not focused on pop up on the minimap so you can complete optional tasks on the go. One of the best JRPGs of all time in terms of design and playability, Xenoblade Chronicles overcomes the occasional cheese of its character interactions by just being so damn fun to play that you won't be able to help yourself from seeing its man versus machine story to its conclusion. 2. Final Fantasy VIII So you have chosen death. Final Fantasy VIII over every other Final Fantasy game, what can we say, it's like we enjoy getting beaten up. No game blew the walls off what gamers thought their chosen medium could be like Final Fantasy VIII did. If there was ever any doubt, the thrillingly cinematic, musically choreographed action sequence that opened Final Fantasy VIII put them to rest almost immediately. While the wildly changed battle and magic mechanics made some fans wince a little after Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VIII managed to offer a unified visual fidelity that fit perfectly with the traditional artwork, battle system, overworld, and cinematic cutscenes of the game. It also took many of the aspects fans had loved from favourites like VI and VII to glorious new heights. 
Summon attacks were visceral spectacles, limit breaks were devastating blasts, and even the famous 9999 damage limit was left in the dust by the time the end credits rolled around. Restored today in the incredible Final Fantasy VIII Remastered, the game has never looked or sounded better, and despite its black sheep nature, Final Fantasy VIII enjoys more popularity today than it ever has. And at number 1, Chrono Trigger. There's a reason Chrono Trigger immediately comes up whenever the conversation of the best JRPGs of all time comes up. The time-hopping adventure has the kind of colourful whimsy and lovable cast that just forces you to fall in love with it no matter how many times you've experienced it. I mean, where else can you watch a robot, a sorcerer and a frogman battle it out against an intergalactic menace? The brainchild of Dream Team, Akira Toriyama, Nobuo Umatsu, Yuji Hori, Kazukika Aoki, and Hironobu Sakaguchi, Chrono Trigger was painstakingly created and perfected by some of the most creative and imaginative minds in Japan. This fact shows the route with its intuitive and visually impressive gameplay mechanics and presentation. Notably, Chrono Trigger was the first game to have players battling enemies on the exact same screen they explored during dungeon sections. No cutaway, just right into the action. The time travelling elements were also awe inspiring, changing the entire look and feel of the game repeatedly as players gained access to a new era of time. Finally, the New Game Plus option, another first for the medium, allowed you to replay the game from the start with all of your abilities, weapons, and knowledge from the end game carried over. This made seeking out Chrono Trigger 17 different endings all the more exciting and accessible, adding further value to the package. The absolute cream of the crop of JRPGs, there are very few games that can even begin to compete with the boundary-breaking ambition and transcendent design of Chrono Trigger, even over 25 years later. And there you have it, there is our list of the 10 best JRPGs of all time. Did you agree or disagree? Sound off in the comments down below and let us know. Don't forget also to check out culturedvultures.com for the full top 25 list if you want to see what didn't quite make the cut here. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos coming to your inbox in the future. And hopefully we'll see you in the next one. But until then, until then, kakoo.